So, Dad, mm. you did people helping people. I did. Why did you choose that out of all the things that you could have? Why is this one so important, and why did you put it into Life Academy? I think so many people are trying to help people. Mm -hmm. You know, I think so many people get into this whole business because they have a they have a compassion, they have a calling, they have a gift, and they want to help. And people are attractive to people with problems a lot. So I think there's just some primary things that we have got to master, we've got to learn, or people helping people is no fun. It's mm -hmm. just exhausting. So who did you make people helping people for? Classically, people that are counselors, mm -hmm. uh, whether they're lay counselors or professional counselors, it's, it's the same skill set. People in ministry, you know, youth pastors, I mean, gosh, youth pastors trying to help <laughs> all these kids. And then pastors just sitting in the trenches with just waves of people coming at them. And then there's life coaches, mm -hmm. there are social workers, probation officers, football coaches, you name it. I mean, and just friends, just people who are friendly. Yeah. So, I mean, you just listed an arrangement of people that mm -hmm. could be using this. How, is it something that's something that's just starting to help people, or I mean, you some seasoned even people in there, like social workers to you know friends of friends. What um, are you hoping that they grow and learn from doing this? Um, I, I think probably the the biggest skill would be that you feel productive because mm. some people want to help and it's it's not healthy it's like somehow I, I get this broken spot in me nourished by just being involved in other people's problems but you can only do that for so long before you start to break down and your your time your energy your relationships start coming apart but if you work on things that are effective and creating results and you know when to say no with other people then you just prolong your battery life you know your longevity just con continues and you grow in maturity and effect so eventually i hope you know this gives skills to help people who've done this for a while train other people who are new to it so you just kind of mentioned that you know, there might be broken spots within you that you're trying to feed and nurture by helping people. So are you going to kind of confront any of that in this series a little bit? Because, I mean, poking at things a little bit, is that something you're going to cover? Always. <laughs> you know, I always have a kind of a habit of bringing up stuff that people don't want to talk about. But it's not so much a pick at you session as much as it is think about it. Take a look at this. Um, if If... If, if you're going around this mountain, it's there's a reason for that. Uh, if you can't seem to get out of this valley, there's a reason for that. Uh, people helping people w uh, should it should energize you. Mm -hmm. You know, you it's like how many touchdowns do you want to score in a game? Yeah, I get so sick of scoring touchdowns. Yeah, right. Right? No, you don't. You know, so helping people actually helping people is energizing, mm -hmm. but getting stuck in people's powerless, hopeless loops, it'll wear you out. Yeah, cool. All right, so I'm gonna do people helping people. What are you hoping I walk away with? Um, I hope that you are encouraged. I hope that you are equipped to uh, function in your role. I hope that you improve your success rate uh, many fold. Uh, I hope that you learn to take care of yourself and I hope that you learn some real keys that um, make helping other people as rewarding as possible. That well, sounds good to me. Yeah? Yeah. Well, I'll actually go do it. I'll yeah. do the whole thing. Yeah, <laughs>